The Megazilla's back. We got it in the truck. We've done some running, and now we're doing some final changes before we go beat this thing up. Let me show you inside. I think last time we talked about it, we had just set the engine in. Now we've had a lot of changes, basically from here back. One thing, just while we got it here, before we open it up, we got the hood and everything back in. Uh, this is all the carbon hood. This is our show hood, carbon fenders, carbon hood, true carbon. This is real, real nice looking. But I know while you guys are all here, it's for the Megazilla, so let's open that up and I'll start deep dive into that. Boom. All right, what's cool about this hood setup too is uh, also it's got the factory headlights and stuff, which is very nice. All right, so as you can see, engine is in. So if you haven't watched our other videos, you should go back and watch that one. We'll, we'll link that right here. But basically, we pulled an engine out of here and now we put the Megazilla in. Uh, for those of you who don't know what Megazilla is, it's a crate engine straight from Ford. This thing is factory. That's what everyone keeps asking, like, oh, what do you like? Who built it? It's from Ford Performance. You literally go on FordPerformance.com, FordPerformanceParts.com, Megazilla, shopping cart, order. They ship it here in a crate, boom. 640 horsepower and 670 foot-pounds of torque, which we have some dyno curves and I will show you it's absolutely nuts the amount of torque this makes. That, give me a sec. Since last time we came in, we plumbed it, we wired it, did the AC, power steering, all of that. So it got one, it headed south and got wired down in San Diego. Um, and then some of the stuff while it was getting wired got finished by Jimmy Weitzel, who originally built the truck. So we made some changes, whatnot. But the guy who originally wired it is now, he wired all of this in. And then James Lynn, which is very big in the off-road market, he did all the initial programming. And then we took it to Croyer and they did the dyno and tuning on it. We did not end up, so we used a lot of the stock parts and stuff. We ended up just using a MoTeC ECU though. This thing has a full MoTeC system inside, so it made sense for us in our applications just to tie it all in versus using the stock harness. The stock harness is awesome, like the stock ECU and stuff is awesome, but just for this um, and with our packaging and stuff, we already have a full MoTeC system. Why are we gonna try to, and MoTeC, if you don't know, is very expensive, so why are we gonna pull that out? And for the programming and tuning we're doing, this is what, and the time frame we had, made no sense. So as you can see, it's very tight in here, especially once we get the shocks and everything, but that's how these pre-owners are. Since, so we, we finished it, we ran it a little, we went and ran it on the dyno. Um, since then, we decided we wanted to change some of the front. Um, we basically had like a temporary, um, just filter right here on the front, and we were seeing a lot of issues with uh, the radiator was sitting here and we we're losing 8% once everything got warm um, because it was just sucking hot air. Radiators here, just shooting hot air literally right on <laughs> air filter. We cut the, cut the radiator off. Basically the old radiator sat like this, which was nice, maybe a little sleek or whatnot. And now we have a brand new CBR built um, and we're gonna stand it upright. So it's gonna stand like this. And then we have room to put you know, put two basically like air boxes where the air filters go. So then they're pulling from um, more of this area. Then it'll be a lot easier to service and stuff while we're down in Mexico. Yeah, this thing wasn't gonna, it was a tiny little cone filter. It wasn't realistic. It was good for the dyno, but we saw huge losses. So we cut everything off yesterday or two days ago. Typical, typical. All right, as you can see, um, we had custom headers made um, because you can't just take like stock manifolds or whatever off but the packaging like it literally barely clears if you get up in here we barely clear shocks firewall all that stuff so we had stock so we had some custom headers made and then if you make your way to the back so we had some boiler exhaust made um which it turned out really good we did this in shop eventually we're going to send the whole truck down and they're going to do um, the exhaust system from the headers all the way to here for now um, we made some, we just kind of hacked off the old junk because it sounded terrible and put on just a boiler muffler and this sexy boiler tip. <laughs> it actually sounds, it's a little bit quieter, like idling and almost driving, but it sounds way cleaner. Just whoa, like it, 
really brings out that big 7.3 throaty. It's not just like, before it was kind of just like, wah! Like it was a lot of, it was made a lot of noise, but it wasn't like, it wasn't elegant. I don't know how to describe it, but it sounds better. I, I think you'll see once we go run this thing, it's gonna sound way better, especially like in the action shots. Uh, well, I mean like in action. All right, so now my final thing before we, so this is a dyno curve. I'm just gonna show you guys, can't show you who, what, but different engines, our engine, torque convert. So pretty impressive how much, I mean, this is at very low RPMs, instantly spikes. It's pretty impressive. So I'm excited to drive this thing in the dirt. Yeah. That's all I can share on this, sadly. Today we are here at the Raptor Rally event in Tuella, Utah. It's gonna be a pretty action-packed day. They have about 200 Raptors here on site, all um, you know, owners, enthusiasts, um, all kinds of different stuff. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Primarily today, I don't get to play with everyone else, but I do get to play with my Megazilla swapped luxury pre-runner. So I'm giving me and Lauren Healy and Von Gittin Jr. are giving a bunch of ride-alongs today, so it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited, especially because no one's even seen this. This is the first Megazilla swap pre-runner and I get to go romp it in some sweet hills. But let's get to the action. And But yeah, today's main goal, scare people. I mean, put smiles on people's faces. So that's what happens. Feel like a butterfly, sting like a bee. through our ride along today. I had a lot of fun giving everyone the experience. Me and Vaughn are uh, kind of going head to head out there, but overall it's fun. The truck's running really good. Loving the Megazilla power and uh, it's fun getting to share everyone kind of my world. It's different. Vaughn's is open cab, louder, kind of more like, ugh. Mine, you get in, turn the AC on, roll the windows up, kind of. It's real nice, I like it. I personally, for a full day, it's the move. Not even dust. Yeah, dude. I, I know. I'm like, oh, AC needs to come up a little, huh? Sorry, Vaughn. It's fun. It's cool to show everyone kind of our world. Obviously, it's different. People in Utah and talk with one guy's from Iowa and Wisconsin and Minnesota. They don't see these things, so. Best job in the world. Yep. That's rat. She made it on the trailer. The important things. Little wins. Little wins. Next day, we're up in Park City, uh, driving the pre runner, luxury pre runner, to a Donuts and Raptors event. Uh, kind of cool. Local drive, only like 20 minutes. So I figured we'd cruise up. Um, you know, show off the Raptors, some of the local Raptor clubs. But uh, yeah, it should be kind of fun. It's been a while since I've gotten to a Cars and Coffee, I'm gonna be honest. So I'm excited, it's kind of fun. I love coffee. I like cars, obviously, so. It's kind of a match made in heaven, maybe.
What up? Did your reverse work? Oh, it's been in and out. Yeah, I don't have reverse. <laughs> okay. But we can have reverse. Up, we made it here, but we don't have a very Well, this is a hill, so why don't you just pull up this way and then we'll all push it backwards. <laughs> That'll be a funding for the event. <laughs> I struggle to see over the dash. You're probably struggling a little. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. All right, we're here. What the, it's called Raptors and Donuts. I keep screwing it up. Cars and coffee. There's coffee, there's donuts, free. Definitely recommend. Super good donuts, but. Brought out, we got the F1 Hundy. Pre-runner over there. She's a little unhappy, but she's here. Yeah. Really dirty too, I feel bad. You shut the door, it's like, <laughs> Like, dude, neck to us, Bronco's all shined up and it was just like a cloud of dust. I was like, but yeah, cruising around. It's cool, this is like 25 minutes from my house. Um, so this is a Bronco Raptor shop right here. And then, yeah, all the local. There's some sweet stuff. There's some some old Broncos that I uh, I think I need in my life. As much as I enjoy the new Broncos. Well, I guess I have an old Bronco in my life, but I want it like a gen. I want like the OG, old, tiny Bronco. Yeah, early Bronco. With a big block. It's our boy Jake. What up? Dude, these vlogs are probably so tough. I was just like chatting. Hey, Zach, you've met Zach. He's the filmer guy. Like, says OJ Rocco. <laughs> yeah. This is like, no, a good friend from California. This was like his daily he built, and then this guy bought it. It's sick. OJ Rocco. In the black, that's sick. Dude, the license plate tilts down too. Isn't that like super illegal? That's how they came back in the day. I think Utah really cares. <laughs> <laughs> Top of it. Yeah. <laughs> Breaks it up because I don't like the nose of the most personally. You know why everyone's got Sparkies? Pretty cool Optima deal. If you came to the Raptor event, you put a Sparky like that, take a picture, post on Instagram, Facebook, free battery. I couldn't believe they were doing that. That's what, I was wondering why everyone had the Sparkies and they're like, oh, you get a free battery, you should do it. I'm like, Phew. they wouldn't give me one though. It's kind of. Just, Kinda mad. This is mad. What is that? Uh, I can't afford that. <laughs> Doesn't have Fox tracks in there? Hell yeah. Get in there. Check them out. Oh yeah. See you boys. socialize it's been a minute dude car to coffee it's fun dude i love it but i gotta meet a lot of really cool especially cool local utah people uh yeah show my little toy this type of stuff comment let us know what you guys want to see should we go do some cool stuff with some cool people in this thing but yeah if there's any uh if there's ever any car shows here in utah especially let us know we'll, we'll swing by but as always hit the subscribe button drop a like and comment what you guys want to see we'll see you next week